Howdy everybody, Steve here, KM9G. Today I have an antenna project that I have been working on for almost a year in complete and total secrecy. The amount of contacts that I have gotten on this antenna in the past year have been outrageous. And I just wanted to make sure that it was right before I finally released it to you, my fans and followers and friends. This is called the 4-1 antenna. Four radial wires, one vertical. And it seems so simple, but there's a twist to it. A very special twist to it. Let's get out in the field, let's get it set up, let's go make some contacts. I'll see you on the other side. Doesn't everybody EDC a hammer? I have a special loop in my pants for that hammer, right there. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Tio, you're out in the middle of the desert, you're getting all that dry sand propagation. That's why this is working out so well for you. Let me tell you something. You see that mountain over my shoulder? There's another mountain over there. And there's an interstate over there. They all take away from my ability to get my signals out. This big, massive, flat area does not help at all. There are so many obstacles in the way of my ground wave propagation, as well as my sky wave propagation, that the only thing that I can do right now is get that spin DX. The most important part of the 4-1 antenna is the one. That one is a 17 foot vertical whip. Any whip will do. It doesn't matter which whip you choose. The whip actually isn't even important. I'll show you why here in a second. This right here, this bundle of radials, there's four each. They're attached to one Anderson power pole connector. This right here, this right here, this right here. This is the reason, this is the thing you need to make this work. Let's go get these things set out and I'll show you what I'm talking about. This desert scrub. First thing I found that is easy is to take the plug and plug it into one of the radial connectors on the bottom of the antenna. Then I found that it's easier to take just one of these wires and peel it back from the set. And this silicone wire is magical. It doesn't bind up when you pull it back. So let's pull it back. Quite a lot of dust out here. It's gonna get inside of my connector, but it's not gonna cause a problem. This is going to work very well. All right, there's one. I'm just gonna leave this in a bundle to the south. And what I've got to do is I've got to get all four of these spread out. And once they're spread out, then I can show you what's going on. Even with all these tumbleweeds, we're still going to make it happen. All right, so we've got that one to the north. I'm going to put this one to the south, temporarily. North, south, west, this last one's going out to the north also. What I've got to do now is I've got to get all this desert tumbleweed stuff out of the way. All right, so now we've got north, south, west, and south groupings of wire. So I'm going to take this first wire and I'm going to span it out. More tumbleweeds. Okay. Here's the most important part. When you put it out, don't put it out in a straight line. You can see I'm kind of curving around here in a circle. Almost, but not quite to the point where it comes back on itself. All right, there's one. Let's get this second one out here. They get harder to put down the more you put down. But this one's gonna come out and get stuck on some more tumbleweeds. I know antennas are really hard to see on camera. I'll draw this out for you a little bit later. But for right now, you can kind of tell how I'm moving as I'm putting these radials out and how that's going to impact the pattern of my antenna. I really should have more radials for this, but we're gonna have to make do with these four. All right, I got one left. I could probably get away with three, maybe four more out here. Okay, there we go. One last thing to do. Like I said, the magic is not in the 17 foot whip here. The magic is really in the radial field. It has nothing to do with the massive amounts of desert sands that we have creating sandy soil propagation. That is not it at all. Let me show you the radial field. Like I said, that's the important part. Okay, so you've seen this before. This is an Anderson power pole and I have the red to black made it up just because I do. It doesn't really matter what color they are in this situation. But you can also see that I have four radials and they look like I've got one going out to the north, one going out to the south, one going out to the west, and one going out to the south opposite of the north 
radial there, but that's not really the case. When you're in this close, it's just too close to see. You're too, you're too much in the near field. You can't see what's going on. But as we come out here, we'll follow this one radial here, and you can see that it curves around here to the south. And if we continue around, we'll see that it curves back to the west, and then it ends right there. And right next to it, there's another radial. But then right next to that, there's another radial. And right next to that, there's another radial. So you can see that I'm making this amazing radial field. And you can also see that they're kind of spread out in this spiral orientation. Okay, we have this antenna all set up. I've shown you how the radials are, are aligned. I'm gonna go inside the shack and I'm gonna put up my FT8 software and we're gonna start making some contacts. We're gonna see what kind of DX we can get from that. But first thing I gotta do before I go in the shack is I gotta take this antenna back down. All right, I just got inside from putting the antenna away. Let's get FT8 open and let's make some contacts on it. All right, I am launching the software right now. Connecting to the radio, getting the signal going. All right, let's call CQ. Enable transmit, okay. France, ooh, wow, first. First out of the gate, France. I love it. All right. And I am in New Mexico right now. I'm in the desert in New Mexico. I'm surrounded by mountains. I've got nothing but sand beneath my feet. France on first contact is great. What's the, it's finishing up now. What's the signal report? Plus eight. Ooh, that's a good, that, that's a good signal report. Signal reports go from minus 26 to positive 26, unless you happen to be like right next door to somebody. I've seen it a little higher at times on this antenna. I don't know if we're going to get there today. All right. Enable transmit. Let's do this again. Spain. Whew. That's like right next door to France. That's not bad at all. Can we get any better than that? Hey, let's see. If, let's let's let this one end. Okay, this is great. All right. Signal report. Log it. All right. Signal report on that one was plus nineteen. That's crazy. All right. Next contact. Enable D. Enable transmit. Okay. I was going to say enable DX, but it's all DX. Enable transmit. Who are we going to get? Who are we going to get? The anticipation is just, just amazing. Who are we going to get? Syria. This is my first contact ever with the country of Syria. This is crazy. All right. RR73. I've got the confirmation. Log the contact. That was a plus seven. That's, that's just crazy. I've never gotten Syria before. All right. Enable transmit. Who are we going to get next? Whew. All right, Germany. All right, this is great. Germany. All right, come on. Sequence three. Sequence four. All right, we're stuck in four. Are we going to make it? Are we going to make it? Okay, there we go. There we go. Sequence five. Send in 73. Am I going to get it back? This is crazy. This is crazy. All right, we got it. Enable. All right, we got it. Log contact. That was a plus 14. So we got France at plus 19. This is a plus 14. This is crazy. All right, enable. Transmit. Go. It's about... It's almost 6 p.m. Central right now. So we're going to start working that gray line here pretty soon. Oh, we're going the opposite direction. I didn't think I'd get contacts in this direction with the radial field pointing north-south like it was like that. So it's good to see that I'm getting Japan right now. This is great. And these Japan guys, they're no joke. They know how to FT8. This is great. Like, they were done. That was fast. If you've never worked at Japan Station on FT8, they always shave off the first over. So you get your whole transaction done in one minute instead of a minute 15. Let me log that contact. Okay, that was a plus 12. Whew. That's that's amazing right there. All right, let's hit enable transmit. We'll do like we'll do like three more. Okay. Whoo! This is my first ever contact with New Guinea. I, I hope this one finishes up. All right, one left. There's the 73. Yes, I love it. All right, let's log this contact. 
That was only a plus three, but I'll take a plus three to, to New Guinea. That, that's a new country right there. That is awesome. All right, enable transmit. Who's next? CQ, 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 come on. Who says FDH not fun? Get yourself the right antenna. Everything is fun. It's all about the antenna. All right, what's next? No way. No way. This is awesome. I'm going to have to show you this one on the map. All right, cool. Let me, let me switch over to the map. I'll show you the contacts that I've made. All right, all bands, show signals, sent and received by the country of call sign KM9G in the last 15 minutes. Let's see the contacts that I have made. Wait for it. Beach balling. Come on. <laughs> you know it's a lot of contacts when you get the beach ball for that long. There we go. Whew, look at that. That's 15 minutes worth of contacts on this antenna. This is absolutely crazy. I am all over Europe, into Hawaii, deep in the Pacific Ocean, out to Japan, like I said, some into China. This is just amazing. This is great. I bet if I looked at this log, oh man, South America? Got some into Africa? This is crazy. All these contacts. Just absolutely amazing. All these contacts. This is just absolutely amazing. This is ridiculous. You've got to build this antenna. 17 foot vertical, four 10 meter radials. That's all it takes. This is amazing. Make more radials, get more contacts. It's amazing. You just gotta do it. Okay, I hope the FT8 maps really helped sell this concept for you. This is my 4-1 antenna. It's four radials and one vertical. And those four radials are arranged in this spiral configuration. And they cause the propagation of your signal to get a spin, to get a little English on it as it reaches up to the atmosphere. And when it hits the atmosphere at that circular polarization, at that spin polarization, it comes back down again. And that imparts more velocity on your signal, which helps it travel farther as it bounces off the earth and back up to the sky to get yet again more speed and more power. And then again, down to the ground. And as many times as you can hop, as many skips as you can get, as many spins as you can get off of the ionosphere is the distance of your contact that you're gonna get. This four one antenna, four, spirally polarized radials and one vertical radiating element. That's not the reason why it got its name as the 4-1 antenna. The real reason why it got its name as the 4-1 antenna is because this is April Fool's Day. Happy April Fool's, y'all. Thanks for being awesome.